Hey, what is up guys? Adam here and today we're going to be doing the full review of the Solar Juice 6000 mAh external battery pack. Now, if you haven't seen the unboxing of this device, then that'll be the first link below that like button. So definitely be sure to go ahead and check that out and I'll also put the price of the actual Solar Juice itself or the actual link to Amazon and eBay. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. So definitely be sure to go ahead and check the link down below. So starting off with the design of the actual battery pack itself. Now, a lot of people don't really like the design because the number one is too heavy and it's too chunky but I don't really see it too much of a problem because it's not really there to look nice and pretty like your smartphone it's more there to serve as a purpose for charging your devices like your phones and your tablets it's not really there to look nice and pretty it's just there to serve as a purpose for charging so I'm not really too concerned about the design however I do think the design kind of replicates the Blackberry torch with the curved top and bottom and the solar panel representative of the LCD panel so moving on now to the UI options, the first thing we're going to have, which is going to be the main selling point of the device, is going to be that large solar panel. Then below that, we're going to have the power level indicator starting from 100% down to 25%, and those will indicate blue with the following percentages. The next is that we're going to have the power button. Now you need to press this down for 3-5 to five seconds to power the device on, then 3-5 to five seconds to go ahead and power the device off once again. The next is that we're going to have the light source charging indicator. Now, that if the if the device is only charging by light, then this one will start flashing on its own. If the device is going to be charging by light and solar panel when you're outside when the sun comes out, then this one will start flashing as well. But I'm inside now, so only this light is going to be flashing at the moment. And I guess the good thing about this device is that you don't need to go ahead and change any settings. The device will automatically charge on its own when it's in the appropriate lighting or solar conditions. So you don't need to go ahead and press anything to program that itself. It'll automatically start charging when it's outside and there's light available or when you're inside and there's light available. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the functionality of the device. Now we're going to get three main inputs at the bottom of the device. We're going to have two full-size USB 2.0 ports and a smaller micro USB input. Now the first USB 2.0 port can output one amp that's going to be used to, that's going to be used to charge your smaller devices like your smartphones and your iPods and of course the center one is going to be used for charging the unit itself rather than using solar power or light source and the last USB 2.0 port that is going to be able to output two amps that's going to be used to be able to charge your tablets and your e-readers you tend to be your heavy devices are going to need to use that two amp and your smaller device is going to just simply use the one amp on the left hand side so there is a bit of concern sometimes when it comes to buying battery packs because a lot of times they tend to advertise a lot more over uh, when it comes to milliamps than they really are in real life now the 6000 milliamp uh, solar juice from, from zero lemon is definitely representative of 6000 milliamps I, I tried it over this weekend when i went down to london and I was able to get one full charge out of my phone and one full charge out of my iPod and I still had some power left to spare on the device so this is definitely true representative of 6000 milliamps so not to worry in that department right there. So my only gripe with this phone is how long it took to charge the device on solar power alone. Now I tried it for three days and I only managed to get one bar up to 25 from zero which is pretty much dead and that is pretty much a really long time to it so I wouldn't recommend charging this on solar power alone because you're going to be waiting quite a long time before the device is full so definitely be sure if you're going to be you know using it regularly charge it with the micro USB input on the bottom rather than just relying on light power or even solar power I mean light power will take even longer but I just tried it on solar and it took around three days just to get to one bar so do bear that in mind if you're going to go ahead and purchase this device so I guess it boils down to what I recommend it. It's definitely not the best one out there, but it's not the worst one out there. It's kind of in that middle ground area. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much been the review of the Solar Juice external battery pack. Thank you for watching. Take care, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.